Hi, I'm Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And I get great questions from all of you viewers. Thank you so much. These are very intricate, I have to be honest. This question is, what do you do when he pulls away? Okay, the partner could be male or female. They pull away. And then they come back. What's the right thing to do? Now, I know most all of us would say, hey, they pulled away once. That's it. We just keep walking. However, let's consider that this is a complicated world, that people are not so good at dating, that guys and women are making bungles every time they move, and every time they do something and they realize it wasn't successful, they're gonna go back and redo their efforts. For example, there are so many men out there that are confused nowadays that if they tell a woman that they really cared for her and it doesn't work out, they'll go back to the drawing board and think, oh, well, I obviously can't tell her that I care for her because that did not work out well. So I won't tell her next time. So I'll meet a girl and I like her and I just won't tell her. Then that'll be the mistake they made that time. So people can get very tripped up in trying to overcorrect their mistakes. So let us imagine for a moment that maybe you like this person and something inside you says that yes, they pulled away, which is not a good sign and you don't want a hot and cold player, but you don't quite know enough to know how to assess. Are they an okay person that bungled? Are they a player and you don't have all the information? First thing you do, you've got to go through your entire tape deck because your mind, your eyes were recording everything. I want you to remember every text message, every conversation, every glance, every look, everything you saw visually, everything you picked up around you, emotionally, and I want you to think intuitively. What does your gut tell you? Here's another way to look at it. What have you got to lose? If you're ready to leave and you want to see what they're up to, is it ego? Ego would say, yeah, you know, I can dump you right now and keep walking. And some people, your gut has had a printout that they are not good and they're not even worth the time. So this is easy. But we're talking about when it's not so easy, when the, the lines are a little murky. What's the worst that can happen? You give them another day or two. You go out, you see if they're, if they're going to be consistent. And you certainly have a right to talk about the fact that you didn't like whatever happened before. Maybe, unbeknownst to you behind the scenes, they've been clearing something up. Maybe they had some wrong dating advice and they were told something so they didn't interact with you properly. Or maybe you're in the first cycle of hot and cold and they're going to play this nonsense all over again. So much of what you do if you decide to go back to a person who's pulled away, depends upon your disposition. Making these very fine decisions, and I mean fine in that like the, the width of a hair, they are so fine because we're stabbing in the dark, grabbing our instinctual information, our gut feeling, and all the real information we can get and putting it into our little computer system and we're looking for it to print out a yes or a no, a red light or a green light. And it can get tricky. I know that. We certainly don't want to be in a hot and cold cycle. And if you see that that happens one more time, that is a keep walking and it doesn't matter what they say. You don't need to be with somebody that's that inconsistent. You're not missing anything. Did they bungle? Why are you back? What did you learn? What did you see? This is your opportunity. If you take them back, or if you're willing to entertain them, this is your moment where you actually have the upper hand. Maybe, even if you don't like them, you can find out what they did so you can learn more about the intricacy of games that people play, or fears. It's all the same, games and fears. So you are going to have to use all your skill set. That's going to be your greatest guide. I can be here to tell you about these things, but you're the one who knows, and you really do know. Inside yourself, when you rack up all that information, you'll get a feeling. Is it even worth returning their text? Or is it, yeah, and not only am I going to return their text, but this time, I'm going to have a real talk with them. So this is to remind you that when things are complicated, you probably know a lot more than you think you know. 
I wish you well in dating. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Care to listen on iTunes? It's The Susan Winter Show. Thanks a lot.